Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we are looking back at one of the greatest games of all time and working out what we missed with 10 things cut from Red Dead Redemption 2. For this list, we're looking at the confirmed and suspected cut content that we would love to have seen. From storylines to gameplay elements, we're breaking down Rockstar's wish list and wondering what could have been. Which of these would you like to have seen more of? Let us know in the comments below. Before we continue, we publish content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of our latest videos. Second love interest. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. Arthur Morgan has one of the most unfortunate love stories of modern gaming. Not only is he left heartbroken, alone, and destined to wrestle who he is with who he loves, but also the woman he's in love with is just the worst. Mary is poop, most people agree. But around the time of release, Rockstar let us know about a good chunk of content that had to be cut. One of these details slipped was that there was a planned second love interest that was cut from the game because Rockstar feared it wouldn't work. With vague details like this, fans have been left to speculate and create their own theories. The most believed of these theories is that Sadie was supposed to be a love interest for Arthur or even possibly John, thus creating a love triangle of sorts with his future wife, Abigail. We understand why the latter would be difficult to make work. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. Obese Dead Redemption. A significant amount of finished character models remain in the game files of Red Dead Redemption 2 for larger characters and obese characters. They were originally intended to spawn around the map like most other NPCs, but were ultimately cut from the final experience. And aside from a handful of story-related characters, there are no larger NPCs. I think the dev team were concerned about having to model a larger lasso. I'm a big fat guy, so I'm allowed to make that joke. Safe houses. One of the side features found in GTA and Red Dead Redemption 1 were safe houses. Safe houses gave the player opportunity to buy up land across the game's respective maps for both safe points and, in some games, regular income. With the camp being such a heavy part of the RDR2 experience, it's hard to believe that the game originally intended to have purchasable safe houses across the map, but they did. And then they didn't. The decision to cut this content most likely came down to time restraints and lack of priority, with the camp being such an integral part of the experience and also autosave being there to make our lives easier. First time, gum, candies, tobacco, all the good stuff are on the shelves behind my counter. Mini games. One of the immersive draws of Red Dead 2 is all the extra things the player can do around the map. You can easily lose an entire day to fishing or even just riding your horse around and meeting strange and interesting people. One of the bigger time sinks came in the form of minigames such as Blackjack, Dominoes, Poker and Five Finger Fillet. I can't count the hours I've lost gambling away my blood money around a poker table in Red Dead 2, but had Rockstar kept in their full roster of originally planned minigames, I might still be gambling to this day. Rustling, Liar's Dice, Three Card Monty, Chess, Craps, Horseshoe and Roulette were all originally intended to be included in the game, but were ultimately cut from the final product. Tempest Rim this discovery that was popularized by Reddit user Huntroploria allows players to glitch beyond the map's boundaries to explore an unused northern snowy region that features some significant geographical locations like frozen lakes and ice walls, as well as huntable animals that spawn as normal. After hitting an invisible wall to the west of Barrow Lagoon, the player can set up camp and wake up glitched into this unused part of the map. The significance of this area has led players to speculate that it was originally being worked on but was later cut, possibly to be added as DLC in the future. New Austin Well before the game was released, there was heavy speculation that Red Dead Redemption 2 would combine its map with the original Red Dead Redemption map, allowing players to explore New Austin and its surrounds. 
Upon release, players were left smiling as they could see that Blackwater was there. And although it was impossible to get close, we just knew we'd eventually be able to make our way in that direction. After a sometimes 70 hour long playthrough, players were able to make their way down and explore a massive chunk of the Red Dead Redemption map. But beyond one scripted experience in Armadillo, New Austin was basically barren. We understand fan service, but we can't help but feel like content was cut from this location, leaving it as little more than an unused archive of nostalgia. A building that randomly explodes with no explanation, aggressive hostiles, and a mysterious priest with a letter in his pocket. What was Rockstar planning in New Austin? Bounty Hunter. It's not difficult to rustle up a little extra dough in RDR2. There are plenty of hustles and side missions to line the player's pockets. One of the more profitable tasks is the bounty hunting that players can embark on. Find a wanted poster, go to the location and take the target dead or alive. Alive if you want some more dough. It's been confirmed that there were a number of cut bounties from the final game, but to this day, we have no idea who we might have been hunting down. Got a live one for you. Well, looky here. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. Guama. Look, hey, it is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here. Guama is an odd little gem in the Red Dead 2 story. In the game's fifth chapter, the player is stripped of their familiarity and thrown into a whole new environment to fight and scratch back to their own world. The hostile guards of Guama make it incredibly difficult to explore the island fully, leading players to believe this is a clever trick by Rockstar to prevent them from seeing just how unfinished this island is. Was Guama intended to be more significant in the final product? Was Guama meant to be more readily accessible? Only Rockstar truly knows. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Mexico. What are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. Another piece of the map that is inexplicably missing was Mexico. Although the game chose to include New Austin from Red Dead Redemption 1, the devs made the decision to cut it there and not allow players to explore the southern part of the original game's map, Mexico. With players glitching their way there, they can find a significant amount of finished architecture and land, which makes it difficult to not believe this part of the map was cut simply due to a time restriction. Why take on this massive effort of including the first game's map, but only do half the job? It seems like an odd choice that would have only been made because it had to be made. But don't take my word for it. Ask literally every single person who has played this game and also has a Reddit account. You'll get one of a million answers. I suggest we part ways amicably. Squad loadouts. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. GTA 5 had the fun feature of being able to adjust many details of the player's heists. Red Dead Redemption 2 not only originally intended for the player to be able to recruit posse members all over the map, but to also modify characters outfits and weapons before embarking on a mission with them. Although the feature isn't at all necessary, it would have been pretty cool to dress everybody up and deck out their weaponry before going and robbing that train. Maybe if we'd been able to give Javier some more grippy shoes, he might not have fallen off the damn thing. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Mojo Plays and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos.